When people think of Japan, they don't normally picture an idyllic cabin somewhere out in the woods. It's more the hustle and bustle of big cities like Tokyo that gets all the attention. Today though, we've traveled to Sakuho to visit a downsized design that the countryside has to offer. Hello Daigo! Hi! I'm Daigo. Nice, nice to, meet to meet you! Daigo built this incredible tiny cottage alongside friends from school on some unused family land. The project started out as a getaway for the group, but later on became a home for Daigo and his young family. This stunning project is entirely off the grid and was built largely from natural materials that were sourced from the nearby forest. We're quite remote right now, we're in the mountains. What about things like electricity and water? Where does that come from here? Uh, there are no service. Electricity is from that to solar panels. We can use lights and a uh, small refrigerator. And water is we get uh, from a uh, stream, yeah, stream in the mountains. What about toilets and, and waste here? What do you do with that? Uh, it's kind of composted. Ah, OK. Yeah. Great, well can we have a look inside the house? Yes. This door <laughs> is lovely. Yeah, yeah, it's mountain. Uh, you see that big mountains? Uh, the name is Mount Morai. And here, yeah, it's the shape. Well, yeah. let's have a look inside. Okay. Yes. This is so cozy. <laughs> and we're obviously in the middle of winter in Japan right now. It is freezing outside, yes. but it is lovely and warm in here. <laughs> Having that little stove in the corner is just like a little touch of magic here, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, very small one. The design of this, it's very almost European, isn't it, in a way? Yeah, that's right. Uh, because I stayed in Finland. Uh, I was impressed by Finnish design. And after I stayed in Finland, I came back to Japan and make made interiors. So yeah, it's Finnish design. So this house here is living and here is for study, work. Although I don't know if you could get any study done when you're looking <laughs> out at that view. That is just beautiful. Yeah. My eyes could never look at a computer screen when that mountain <laughs> vista's in the background. Yeah. Work is very fun for me here. <laughs> yeah, I bet. And a lovely dining area over here? Yes. Yeah, kitchen and kitchen counter and dining. So we can eat, we can drink. I especially like how you've done the kitchen counter. That's very unusual. <laughs> Thank you. Cooking is very, very fun. Uh, my wife or my family look me. <laughs> And I, I cook here, yeah, I feel I'm master of cafe or bar, <laughs> yeah, I can, I can cook um, more delicious foods. Yeah. So how big is this place actually? What are the dimensions? 5.4 meters and 3.5 meters. It's actually a perfect size for a little cabin in the woods, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you. And I notice over there you've got some hammocks as well. Yeah. That's a really cool feature. <laughs> yeah, sit here. Uh-huh. And here. Can I have a go? Yeah, of course. Okay, let's try. If I ever build a cabin in the woods, I have to include one of these. Absolutely love it. So for sleeping, you've got the area upstairs as well. Yes. Great. Can we have a look at that? Yeah, of course. Oh, this space is absolutely lovely. When you think of a sleeping loft in a log cabin, this is everything that you would hope the space to be, isn't it? You've got incredible views out here, really cozy bed. You can still see down to the wood fire though. Absolutely magic. <laughs> yeah, I like this smaller space. When you're sleeping here, uh, we can see the stars uh, through the windows. Yeah. Do you think that as time goes on in Japan, 
more people will build homes like this? Yes, yeah, I think. In Japan, in the countryside, there are many, many not used lands, not used fields. Yeah, I think many people make the cottage like this. Uh, I, I don't have knowledge. It takes a long time, but we can do. And what about the cost of this home? What did this actually cost you to build? About $16,000. $16,000, that's about 2 million yen? Yes, 2 million yen. That really is so affordable, isn't it? And it just goes to show that if you're willing to be a little bit creative, mm. you can build a really beautiful home for yourself without a lot of money. Yes, yeah, that's right. Yeah, it takes time, but it's very fun. And I can show the people, uh, the society, uh, the house. It's very small, but very, um, very happy and comfortable and very warm uh, the relationship with my wife or with family is better than big house daigo this home is really beautiful as a cabin in the woods this is an absolute dream that you have created here thank you very much thank for you. showing me around yeah, thank you very much thank you being here in this home it's impossible not to feel a wonderful and intimate connection with nature. And when you think about it, that's exactly what a small cabin is supposed to do. It's a place where you can simplify, where you can retreat. And when you think about the world out there and all of the craziness, it's really nice to know that there are still a few places like this that you can truly escape to.